Sholanda, do you know when parents of the 2020 seniors will receive refunds for their senior dues? So we are um, right now, uh, the principals do have a charge to begin that process. Um, we wanted to make sure that we um, got uh, one clarity from our superintendent relative to the commitments that we had made, but Dr. V has said explicitly to schools that parents and students will receive all of their refunds um, for dues paid. Um, that process will begin shortly. And I would also encourage folks to reach out directly to the principal because they are handling that at the school level. Are there any parent meetings that, uh, that are focused on how education will look moving forward? So we um, have had some focus group discussions with parents to understand what they're thinking and what um, assurances they feel like need to be in place. Obviously, uh, we are navigating uh, the current shelter in and we aren't going back at this moment. Um, I would encourage folks, um, if they want to be part of those discussions, um, they can email me. Um, I'll post my email uh, for folks, um, but they can also call me. Uh, I know that's a risk. However, this is my work cell phone, so feel free to call all day. I do answer it, 313-408-0739. Uh, so we'll continue to have some of those conversations. There are no planning meetings in place yet, but we expect uh, to do this in concert with our families, yes. Does DPSCD provide technology support in different languages? For example, huh. how to use Teams, log in, use the camera, mute, et cetera. Absolutely. So we have, and that was one of the things that Parent Academy put out first, was we have a weekly session on Thursdays um, that is a training on how to use Teams, but it's also an interactive discussion with our curriculum uh, department on what's in the enrichment packets, how to facilitate certain things, where to access more resources. And absolutely, for all of our Parent Academies, we have a separate session. Actually, it's a Spanish-only line for our um, Spanish-speaking families, and then we do request translation on other workshops that we have uh, for the many languages that exist within our district. So that support is there through our bilingual department. Are there conversations going on around how schools will reopen, safety measures? Will all schools have nursing staff, staff on site full day and testing. So we are planning for what that looks like. Um, obviously we're going to work in concert with the governor and the order the orders that come out as well as um, listening and, and looking at what best practices and then what specifically makes sense for our school community. So all those things have to weigh in. It would be premature to make a statement around what the actual plan is because we are, it's evolving day to day. Um, but I would just lift up that uh, many of the conversations that we have had with parents have shared um, their insights in terms of what they want to see in place, which includes, you know, um, obviously regular hand washing. Um, some parents have shared wanting to have education regularly around what to look for, uh, making sure there's support in place for students that might have underlying conditions, uh, making sure there is um, an opportunity for young people who may not have had an opportunity to be involved in distance learning to kind of close what will be an achievement gap there. So, I mean, our parents um, have given us very thoughtful feedback uh, and uh, we're gonna continue to listen and learn and, and obviously put out the best for our uh, Detroit Public Schools Community District students and families. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.